All right. Well, hello, everyone. So happy to be here with you today. And I am so thrilled to have Monique Akanbi with us. And she is an amazing leader in the SHRM world. And so thank you, Monique, so much for being here. If you would, to start out, let everyone know who you are, what you get to do professionally, and maybe a bit personally as well. Absolutely. Thank you, Monica, for having me. Uh, so I am Monique Akambi. I am a SHRM Field Services Director. Uh, what that means is that I support all of our affiliates or a, a, a segment of our affiliates. We have over 556 mm -hmm. affiliates, which are chapters of state councils. And so I support those chapters in eight states and one island. I execute their strategy for their local chapters, but also their state councils as well. And I am a former HR leader, so I love yes. that I get the ability to not necessarily practice HR in this current role, but still support mm -hmm. HR professionals. Yes, and you have such an excellent reputation among your peers and people who work with you. Just anyone I've talked to that knows you or is connected in any way is thrilled. And they're like, I love her. <laughs> so I'm honored to get to speak with you. So well, we're we're honoring, honor. yeah. <laughs> we're uh, we're we're recognizing you know Women's History Month right now, and so I want to ask you who is a lady or woman in your life that you find to be you know a great influence now in in this phase of your life. That is a very hard question, and the reason I say that is because I attribute who I am to every woman that has entered into my life. Uh, but if I were to narrow it down to one specific individual, I would say it was my former HR manager at a previous organization. When I joined as an HR specialist, she called me into her office and she said, I am retiring soon this is your position. And she truly supported me and pushed me and made sure that I had all the resources that I need to be successful in the world of human resources. And so if I were to attribute who I am, especially per professionally, yes. I would say it would be Barbara Henson, who was uh, my former HR manager. That is awesome. That is so cool. And I love that you can recognize somebody professionally who has really highly influenced who you are because it does affect every single part of our life, those, those people. So, um, you know, you stand out in your field as a leader, obviously in the role you are now um, and, it, you know, everything that has preceded that and your reputation and all that. But I know that no woman and no person comes to this level in their life and this level of leadership without having overcome um, some significant hurdles. That's life, that's humanity. And so if you would be willing, would you share maybe one of the biggest hurdles that you've had to overcome, maybe as a woman, but um, maybe not, maybe just as a leader in general, uh, any hurdle that you've had to overcome to to as you look back and where you are now? Yeah, if I were to look back, I would say overcoming imposter syndrome. And we hear that term a lot um, yeah. lately. We've heard that term a lot. And I think that just as women, we feel like we have to uh, balance our personal and our professional lives and that we can't have it all and that one has to sacrifice over the other. And I would say just knowing my worth, I think we often second guess ourselves. That was me. Um, you know, I often second guessed myself and did not have the confidence that I needed in myself or in my role, which helped surrounding myself around women and others, you know, men as well, mm -hmm. that helped me see the value that I bring. So one of the barriers for me was just over overcoming imposter syndrome and having that confidence in knowing the value that I bring and the contributions that I make um, and making sure that those are positive and life lasting contributions to whatever it is that I do. Yeah. Do you think a lot of people that you work with since you work with other leaders um, in different many different organizations, um, do you think a lot of people are facing that struggle with imposter syndrome as well? Absolutely. When I talk to my friends who are other HR leaders and specifically female friends, um, you know, 
I find myself encouraging them and instilling in them and just reemphasizing who they are and their abilities. It's hard for us to see it within ourselves. It's easier for someone else to point it out. And so I see that very often. If I think back to my conversations that I've had with other women leaders, that conversation ended in me encouraging them and in reinstilling that confidence in them of their abilities. So I would say definitely imposter syndrome is something that we all suffer from. You know, we second guess ourselves a lot. Yes. Yes. I think that's so good to hear. And thank you for being vulnerable and honest about it, um, because it is something I think we can all relate to, and you're right, on varying degrees, we all face it. Um, we, want, we want to put our best forward. Um, and a lot of times we have so much self-doubt, it feels like two different versions. Cause it's like, I doubt so much, you know, what I can offer, but I'm trying to like, you know, get myself out there. So, which brings me to my next question and, and our final one. Um, if you uh, were to sit down with it, as you do in your day to day, but if you were to sit down with an aspiring leader um, and, and, and someone who's going, I have my own hurdles, I have my own, you know, whether imposter syndrome or just just their own hangups that they face in their field, no matter what it is, what would your advice be to them um, as they have to kind of kind of face their own their own issues and yeah. overcome them? I'm a firm believer that um, everything happens for a reason and and that thing happens by coincidence. And because of that, I encourage others to just be authentically you. You are at the place you are, whether it is um, a peak moment of your life or even a valley moment, because we experience those um, wherever you are in your life, you are there for a reason. And there is a lesson in everything um, that you encounter or you experience. And through that lesson, just be authentically you. Know the value that you bring. Know the contributions that you make. And no matter what, you're there for a reason. So never second guess yourself. Truly believe in your abilities because if you don't, others will not. Mm -hmm. I love that. Thank you so much, Monique. I, I personally have gotten a lot of that out of this conversation mm-hmm. and I so appreciate your time. I know it will help other people as well. And so thank you again and happy Women's History Month. You are very <laughs> welcome. Happy Women's History Month. <laughs>